Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. Uh, Jean Berto here. In this video, we are going to start creating an empty array and appending or adding a value to it and we'll be adding these values or element one after the other. So let us jump straight in and start practicing. So I'll go back to my NetBean IDE, okay, which is right here. And I've closed the file which we, uh, this file here, remember we created this file, arrays1. So I've closed it, you can go ahead and close that file right here. And we are going to create a second JavaScript file under the same folder. So you go to the site root here, right click, go to new, and click JavaScript file. And we're just going to call it um, empty array, okay. And I'll go ahead and say finish. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the comments generated by uh, the IDE and I'll go ahead and save all the change. Alright, so now what I want to do here is create a variable and I just want to call it uh, first name. So this is going to be uh, an array that is going to store uh, the names of uh, some, some people or some student. So we can just do this. And by doing this, we are actually indicating, okay, we just put in some empty uh, square bracket that says opening and closing square brackets, which basically means it's an array, but it is really empty uh, as it is because there is no element inside of it. Okay, now you can alternatively use the constructor model, which we uh, looked at in the discussion. And that will be, for example, um, last names and this time i'll say new array so this is also okay and acceptable uh, both of these array uh, variables are valid arrays in uh, javascript but like i said we are going to to be adopting the first one so i'll go ahead and comment this or i can actually go ahead and delete it but i'll just comment it because it will be ignored anyway and what i want to do now is start um adding values to this array. So I'll simply say uh, first names, which is the name of the variable, and I'll put in those braces again, and then I'll put in the uh, index number, which is at zero, and then I will assign a value, and I can say, for example, gems. That's all. Now I can go ahead and do this uh, multiple times, and here I could actually say something like uh, uh, consolata, and then I will continue and put in another value and I can actually say something like Tom's and I can continue again and again and again and I can actually say something like Blandine and I can actually add uh, the last one here and I can actually say uh, Bond Okay, so what we've done is create on line number one an empty array here. You can see uh, var first names, which is an empty array. Okay, you, can, you can tell it's empty because of this. And on line number three, we started appending or adding element or values to it. Yeah, and all these are string values, as you can see. And at index zero, we have appended or added uh, the value gems. At index one, we have added the value uh, consolata. At index two, Tom's three, Blandine, and four, uh, Bond. So this is a valid uh, JavaScript array with um, five different elements. So you have one, two, three, four, five, starting from index zero to index four. And if you want to print that out, it is basically the same way. Console uh, dot log, and we can actually log first name at position four. Okay which of course, as you may guess, it's gonna print bond here. Okay, so we run, and that prints bond. And if we change this to uh, zero, that gives us the first element in the array, and so forth, which is gems. Okay, so that's really it about creating an empty array and adding values to it one by one. And so in the next video, we will start talking about uh, loops and how we can mix arrays and loops together to have a more uh, working application. Thank you for watching.